Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I am going to review the new go-to craft tumbler heat press. I just got it today and I was asked to review it. I'm super excited. It's so adorable. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up. We're going to sublimate a tumbler, and then I'm gonna share my honest opinion, give you feedback, let you know what I think. So this is the adorable tumbler heat press by go to craft is such a beautiful color and this is a more affordable tumbler press if you're looking to get into making sublimation tumblers or mugs this would be your best bet to get started with first thing it says to do is you should always have a blank tumbler in here when you heat it up so let's do that before we forget so we're gonna go ahead and push this we're gonna push it like that and it unlocks we're going to place this tumbler in here and that is just a blank tumbler that you need to have on hand and it actually says right here let me show you right on the top it actually reminds you as well it says no heating up without a mug so you always need something in there so best to put it in there first and let me just show you really quick as well it com also comes in the box it came with a lint roller this is just like this and you just put this on and you turn it and this has some tape on it so you'll take it off it's a the lint roller you place it here and then you would just attach it just like so so and it also came with some sublimation prints to try out heat resistant gloves which is a necessity and two rolls of heat resistant tape. You get this part right here. All you need to do is place that right in here. It plugs right in. And then you'll tighten it. You'll just screw this in to tighten it. The next thing is the power cord. So we're gonna turn this around. And the power cord goes right here. We'll just place that in. And then we're gonna plug it in. I already got the tumbler ready. So this is the tumbler I'm going to do. I, I already printed it out on sublimation paper and we're gonna go ahead and see how this works. But let's go ahead and follow the directions to get it preheated. First thing we're gonna do is place this blank tumbler in here and we're gonna close it just like so we don't have to close it all the way just like that then we're going to go ahead power it on right here on the green button so you're going to push it all the way in and then we are going to set the temperature i'm going to set it for 390 so i'm going to go ahead and press okay and then it's already at 390 so i'm going to hit okay and then um i had it at 90 seconds what i'm going to do is put it at 45 because we need to rotate it and then enter okay so we are going to do 45 seconds and then turn it and then do 45 more seconds and so that's a total of 90 seconds and we're just going to wait till this preheats to 390 and it should make a beeping sound once it gets there. And you definitely, definitely need to wear your heat resistant gloves because this gets very, very, very hot. I'm also going to use a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to wrap it around the tumbler and then tape it with our heat resistant tape. And that's just to protect your tumbler press. Then you're gonna press enter. I'm sorry. You're going to press enter as I hit OK. <laughs> so let's take this out and it's hot. If you'll notice here, though, we sh maybe we should have wrapped it with, with parchment paper because from the pink comes off onto the tumbler. That's what that is. So if you wipe it off really quickly, then it is fine. So that is something you would, may want to do is just probably put parchment paper on in here as well. So that all came off. So let's go ahead, we're gonna place that in here and we are going to close it. So just like that. And then we need to tighten it. You want it to be tight enough so it's secure, 
but not too tight. And then we're gonna press enter and it's gonna start counting down from 45 seconds. And then we're going to rotate it. And I forgot to show you, which I'll show you when we rotate, is I placed it face up where you could see the strip of tape. So I know that that, that is um, the one side that we're using. And when we flip it over, we're gonna put the tape down. So just wanted to share that. Okay, so now we are going to unlock, we're gonna push. I mean, we're gonna, yeah, push. Okay, so hold on. We are gonna pull that out. So now we're going to flip it. And then we're going to push down and it connects. We're gonna tighten it again and press enter and that'll be the additional 45 seconds. So you do have to rotate it. So we're gonna press enter again and then we're going to loosen it up and I'm going to go ahead and turn the power off on the side and unplug it and then here you just push down and it opens so go ahead and take it out and we are going to open it up so let me just kind of push this aside and if you can see here all the pink came off so I would recommend just putting parchment down first and open it and see what it looks like and it is very hot so you have to definitely wear heat resistant gloves that is so nice that they're included okay wow that looks really really nice doesn't it this did an awesome job this looks so nice. So I definitely would give this a thumbs up. Most definitely I would recommend this and it's a great choice to get into sublimating with because it's on the less expensive side. And I would definitely recommend this. And if you're interested, I'll leave it the link below. And if you also like this pattern, I'll leave the link below as well. I got this from Creative Fabrica. And that's it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. If you don't already subscribe and you think this channel is for you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And that's it guys. See you in the next video. Bye.